Two time capsules were extracted from the cornerstone of the Korean church, formerly the first congregational church, one from 1882 and one from 1939. The time capsules were opened and presented at the June 23, 2015 Board of Selectmen meeting. A local veteran, Mike Whalen, had to use a few methods to get the tightly sealed time capsules open, but once he did, some very interesting articles of Hopkinton history were found. You took it off already? No, no, but I mean, we have it open so you can slide everything out. There you go. Oh, we had to cut it, we couldn't just unsaw it. Well, you know, it's all paper in there. You know, I started putting the flame on, I thought, you know, maybe back off on that. So you just swipe it down, just pull it down. That's it. This is from 1938. The, the, this is. About, I believe this is maybe the dedication program from the ceremony dedicating the church. I don't know if you have these in your records, Pastor George. <laughs> and then um, this looks like, oh, to you who open this box in future years. <laughs> To you, May 14th, 1939, on September 21st, 1938, a hurricane struck the eastern coast of the United States, starting around New York and continuing through New England, leveling forests, houses, barns, and churches to the ground. Churches with high steeples suffered the most damage. Over 100 congregational churches were destroyed in part or completely in Massachusetts. Our own church in Hopkinton was a total loss after the 100-mile gale blowing in from the ocean had done its work. While it seemed a terrible calamity to lose our old church building, the new one will be so much more fitted to meet our needs that we should be able to carry on a more far-reaching program than was possible in the old building. Every inch of space is being utilized except the room directly above the chapel. It is hoped that this will be finished for club rooms at some future time. As the minister of this church since April 15, 1936, <clears throat> I want to add that a finer group of people, no minister has had the privilege of serving. Their loyalty, enthusiasm, and consecration to the tremendous task of rebuilding a church which, ha which had no wind insurance has made it a joy to work with them. May I also add that if and when this box, which we are preparing for the cornerstone, is opened because the church is being rebuilt or remodeled, sorry, <laughs> carry, on, <laughs> carry on in the same spirit and determination, and you will see an even more glorious church built in the name of our common Lord and Master. And then it's signed, Edwin B. Nyland, Minister. I'm very, very careful. What's wrong with that box? It's very tight. That's very tight. I think it's looser. I just don't want to rip anything. Wow. Again, did not stage this. Annual report of the school committee. Annual report of the school committee. Superintendent of school. Yeah, this whole thing has been rigged. I know. <laughs> I knew we should lock up those boxes. I know. Dr. McLeod, if you're watching, I think she's watching from home. Um, for 1938. Oh, I cannot wait to read this more thoroughly. I'd like to see the budget. Yes, yes. Uh, I suspect. Do you want to wait? This is a letter addressed to Mrs. Herbert S. Heath from Hopkinton, Massachusetts, which I feel a little awkward opening. <laughs> um, here's a, a postcard of um, the Siemens and Cobb thread mill, which is Hayden Row. Yep, and then um, this. Oh, here's a postcard of the first Congregational Church. Um, let's see if there's anything else easy to, uh, what is this? A receipt, well, not filled out, from Clover Farm Store, C.A. Wood, proprietor in Hopkinton. Oh, 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 it's a good comment, then. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the school budget in 1938 was $42,657.99. And I'm sure it was well spent. There were 22 teachers in the Hopkinton Public Schools in 1938. All in, 22 teachers. Mike, look at this. 1833, the assessors of the first parish give notice that they have delivered to Daniel Eames, the treasurer and collector, 
a correct list of the parish taxes for the year 1833. What a penmanship. I know, so isn't it incredible? These are the